Hey everyone, welcome to Eflim by Arif once again. Today I have a very basic Prima Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about the essential part of the preset is how to set preset in three different ways. Later, I'll explain how to import and export presets inside Premiere Pro. Here is a common question, why do we have to save the presets? We have to save the presets to edit the videos faster in the future. And also, we can reuse the effects or transition by saving the presets. There are two types of effects and transition. The first one is without keyframes and the second one is with keyframes. Here are three effects in the effect controls without keyframe. You can save all or more effects inside one single preset. So I have to hold on the control key on the keyboard and then select effects on by one using the mouse. And now I'm gonna right click any of the selected presets. Then select save preset. You can type a name here. I'm gonna name it audio. Now it is time to select a type. We have three options to save the preset. As there is no keyframe in the effects. So we can click on the scale. Later, I'll be talking about the rest of the options. You can type some information about the preset in the description box, but it is not essential, so I'm gonna hit OK. Now move to the effects and get into the preset section, and then click on this icon to expand the presets. So here is the preset just we have saved. This is actually audio preset, we can apply this preset to the audio file, before that we can play the audio first. Now move to the effects and go into the preset section and then click on this icon to expand the presets. So guys this is actually our raw audio file. Now I am gonna apply this audio preset to this audio clip. So here is the all audio effects with the same settings. Now I am gonna play the audio file. Now move to the effects and go into the preset section and then click on this icon to expand the presets. So this is the first part of this tutorial. Now we are heading to the next part of this tutorial. In this part of the basic Premiere Pro tutorial I have a slight transition in the effect controls. If I move the time indicator, you can see the video enters into the program monitor from the right as the keyframe starts from the beginning. So we can call it slide in transition. To save this transition as a preset, we have to right click on this transition then select save preset. Now I'm gonna type a name here. I'm gonna type slide in in point. Now it is time to select a type as the keyframe starts from the beginning and ends at the 8th frame. Now if I click on the scale then the two in or out points will scale to however long my clip is. And then I'll never get a better result from the save presets because the distance between the two keyframes will change depending on the duration of the clips. So I have to click on anchor to in point as the keyframe starts from the beginning and then it will always start at the beginning. Now we can type any information about the preset in the description box now hit ok so here is the preset we have saved just now now i'm gonna apply this preset to this video so now i can play the video first now guys i'm dragging this video upper layer of the first video now i'm getting back to the effects and i'm gonna dragging this preset and apply to this video so here is the preset in the effect controls with the same settings like the previous one. So in this way we can save the transitional effects as a preset and we can reuse it in the future. So guys now we are getting into the next part of the tutorial. Here is another transition in the effect controls. Keyframes of the transition are at the end of the video clip. If I move the time indicator, the video moves to the left from the program monitor. So we can call it slide out transition. Now to save this transition as a preset we have to right click on this transition then select save preset. We can type a name here, I'm gonna name it slide out out point. Now it is time to select a type, I'm gonna click and go to out point as the keyframe of the transition are at the end of the video clip. And hit ok, now we can move to the effects, then click on this to expand the presets. So here is the other preset we have saved with the last one. Now I'm dragging this preset and apply to this video, if I move to the effect controls, here is the preset, I'm in transition with the same settings. Now I'm moving the time indicator and you can see the result of the preset. If you wanna delete a preset, just right click on the preset then select delete. Then hit ok to delete the preset. Now I'm gonna show you how to export a preset. Just right click on the preset then select export preset. After that type a name and click save to export the preset. If you wanna import a preset, you have to right click on the preset then select a file and hit ok to input a preset. So everyone I think that this basic tutorial helps you a lot to customize your presets to edit your videos faster in the future. I'll be back in the next tutorial till then goodbye.